Go cut your wrists, or better still, hang yourself. Go out the back, cut your throat, that's the only way. Have you slashed your wrists yet? You are dead. A bullet between the eyes will save taxpayers' money. You have unleashed the lynch mob, and you have fanned it. And for that, you all ultimately are responsible. These are the types of emails, letters, and phone calls that my family, myself, and my staff have received. Since these allegations were first raised, I have consistently, and on many occasions, made it clear that I have done nothing wrong. I have, in fact, wanted to make a statement for some time, uh, but sought counsel, sought advice from a variety of people, including legal advice, and took that advice not to make a statement. Can I say that's something that I probably regret in hindsight? I didn't realise that this was going to go four years. But once that decision had been taken, of course, then the next opportunity to speak really is when a report is concluded. And Fair Work have done that. In making this statement, I'm very conscious that in the eyes of many of the public, I've already been charged, convicted and sentenced. The public will hold these views because of the quite extraordinary media coverage which has taken place. I, like every member of this House, understand and value the importance of an independent and robust news media and its important place that it can play in our democracy. However, all of us who have regular dealings with the news media, we know that the news media can often get it wrong and sometimes seriously so. Particularly as today, the media is dominated by self-important commentators, not reporters. And I'll say a little bit more about that later. So I think it's important to once again remind the House that I have not been the subject of any conviction, not even the subject of any legal proceedings. None of the allegations have been tested in any court or tribunal.